And Mayor Latoya Cantrell is responding to the recent increase in violent crime. She says the police cannot stop it alone. WGNO's Jordan Lippincott is at City Hall tonight. Jordan. Susie Kurt, during a press conference this morning, Mayor Cantrell talked about the recent killings in the city, the needs of NOPD, sanitation issues, and Mardi Gras police presence. While discussing the recent uptick in violent crime, Mayor Latoya Cantrell says the New Orleans Police Department needs support from the community and elected officials. Let our police officers do their job and making sure absolutely that they remain focused on constitutional policing practices without a doubt. But we have to ensure that they have the tools and resources that they need. Cantrell believes more can be done on the district attorney's end and that she's willing to work with the office to reverse the current trend. I think that understanding the caseloads that have either been dismissed uh, or not acted upon in a timely manner no doubt has had an impact on what happens on the street. Uh, making that connection is key because it's accountability for all of us. Regarding complaints from people who say their trash isn't getting picked up, the mayor's office sent a letter to Richard's disposal last month, letting them know they have until January 12th to remedy the situation before legal action is taken. I just want to say that I really do apologize for um, the inconvenience that our residents are experiencing. And looking ahead to Mardi Gras, Cantrell says the city has the opportunity to get federal help in boosting patrol. I'm very confident that we will, you know, deploy our strategies as we have done in the past, and we will make sure that we have a safe uh, Mardi Gras season. And on the topic of searching for a new superintendent at NOPD, Cantrell says she's still in the process of identifying a group that can assist her with that search. Susie Kurt. All right, Jordan Lippincott reporting for us. Thank you, Jordan.